So I'm going to attempt to fix my Jeep using 3D printed parts. Yeah, let's see how this goes. So if you've been watching my channel lately, you would see that I'm struggling with this Jeep. 2.7 CRD is just giving me a nightmare. So I asked you guys to comment what would you like to see in here. Should we fix this Jeep or should we put in something else like a V8 or whatever? Most of you said, let's fix this Jeep. So I came up with a plan. So I decided to take out all my injectors. Reason is we have black smoke now. So black smoke means we are overfueling like crazy. So these are my old injectors. Then I decided I want to measure the heights of the injectors itself. So I came up with this solution. I quickly modeled this in SaltWorks and printed it. My idea was to have this go into the cylinder head and then this just bolting on and then I can unscrew it until I can determine the height of each injector. Great stuff. This takes five hours to print. Then I realized the flaw with this design is that this might turn as I'm trying to turn this and I can't grab it. <laughs> so useless. Next, I came up with two of these. Exactly the same part, but instead now I can unscrew it and then set my height and get all of them the same height. But the flaw is that this is very unstable and it would probably not work measuring this very accurate. My third and final design, quite easy. I found this chrome rod that I've got, the eight millimeter rod, works perfect. I machined this down on the lathe, so it looks like that. And then I've got this 3D printed part that just basically goes up and down. So the idea under this is I would go into the head, I would hook it underneath the head and then plunge this in until it can't go no more, take it out and measure this distance and then I can determine what is my cylinder head thickness at the moment for each cylinder. Great stuff. So I already did that and then I started taking my injectors. So I went and I took a caliper and I measured a lot of stuff like the seating depth, I measured the tips, I measured the solenoid heights and I came to a conclusion in the end that all my injectors, the tips are different, the seating length is almost the same but the tip is the crucial part. So just a quick summary of my calculations or Betterly, let me show you the screen. Okay, so now that you can see that we determined that my washers need to be different sizes, and these are the stock washers you can buy from Mercedes or Jeep or any space shop, I came to a conclusion. <laughs> Why don't we just 3D print our washers? Now I'm hearing you, you dumb, you can't do that it's gonna melt but guys this guy built a Lamborghini from a 3d printer these guys built a boat from a 3d printer why can't I just make washers that's all different heights from a 3d printer so let's try and see if a 3d printed washer that's costing me not even one cent can actually get this Jeep up and running. So I'm using my phone <laughs> as a picture reference. So I've got number one, need to 1.47. It's this one. Hey, look at that fit, look at that fit. Number two, need a 2.36 washer. Perfect. Number three, needs a 1.46. Number four needs a 2.36 washer and number five needs a 1.96 washer. 
so there we have it guys all the washers on my injectors now it's time to install it just look how pretty this looks they say orange gives you another five kilowatt so hey if it smokes we've got more power still so yeah let's go install those injectors fire it up and see what she does oh right, guys so my injectors are in so next up i want to fit the rest of the exhaust for that i need to lift the jeep up at the back and then just wiggle it in and do that so i'm quickly going to do that and then i want to take the jeep on a long test drive something that's probably going to either break it or make it Okay, so now that is done, I want to start up and see if it still smokes. It's probably going to smoke because of our carboned up intake or valves. And that's why I said I want to take it on a long test drive and see what the valves would do if they would clean up or not. So let's test start this motor with my 3D printed injector seals. What do you think? Do you think it's going to last long? <laughs> I mean, so far, there's yeah, some smoke, but yeah, it's not too bad. Let's give it a couple of baby rain. I mean, that looks like a lot until I keep the RPMs to a certain range, then it kind of like disappears. But I think a good test drive might do it good. So I'm gonna go on a short test drive and just... Oh, there's a brick. <laughs> just feel what it feels like. And if... Uh, feels a bit better or not well I also check for some smoke or yeah, any signs of just that it is not maybe still doing some issues? Just baby riffs, no hot pulls for now. Feels loose like a boat, a lot of smoke, lots of smoke. But that could be just carbon that's like sitting there and on the intake I feel, I feel number five is full of carbon hopefully my neighbors would understand okay guys so I've driven about five kilometers now and it feels fine um, smoking still but not as bad um, but it is getting big traffic now so I want to actually just get home I don't want to cause more traffic than there already is so I'm gonna throw you guys out the window and then you can judge for yourself 
how bad the smoking still is. Okay, so we are home. Okay guys, so I took this Jeep on a test track for about 12, 13 kilometers. And I got the worst death wobble that I've ever had in my life. The Jeep just starts shaking at 40 and it's just crazy actually scary but i've had death wobble before in almost every jeep this is extreme and i think i found the issue so this is the steering stabilizer it looks okay it's not loose but here is the track ball and it's got a little bit of a play and um yeah so another thing I want to show you guys is check all this oil, it's just everywhere and dripping down onto my driveway. So anyways, the conclusion of the test driving the Jeep is that it still smokes, it smokes a little bit less, it drives and just for you guys that made it to the end, I did not use the 3D printed washers. With all my tools that I made, I could measure exactly what size injector seals I could do. And that's where I used my 3D printer. So I don't use the 3D washers. Don't worry about that. So anyways guys, up to the next challenge. Get the death wobble sorted. And then we'll take for a test drive again to see if we can get the smoking sorted. Thank you for watching. Keep safe. Cheers.